guys it's Jen and welcome back to my channel so in today's video I will be creating this look here this is my no makeup makeup look featuring some subtle freckles very very subtle so before we get straight into it make sure you hit the thumbs up button and also subscribe so at the moment I have been using some different skincare products especially during winter at the moment so I'm using this Innisfree green tea seed skin and this is kind of like a toner so you put this before applying any moisturizer on spill it everywhere so I'm just going to pour a little bit of it and I'm just going to like tap it into my skin and I feel like this is the best way to really get the product to absorb find this so refreshing and it's got green tea in it so you know that is definitely something good for your skin so once I have a good amount on to let this really dry I like to get like an envelope or a piece of paper and I'm just going to fan my face and this is just going to really make sure that the product is absorbed into my skin and this doesn't leave your skin dry at all it still keeps your skin really really hydrated so I've been trying out a new moisturizer as well, and it's also by Innisfree. And this one here is the Jiju Orchid Enrich Cream. It's pretty much like a gel texture, but when you apply it on, it turns just so nice on your skin. I can't even, I can't even describe it. It just feels like my skin is super plump. Also to prime my face, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Hangover Primer. I'm just gonna grab a small amount of this. So moving on to foundation. Now for foundation, I've just discovered this one here. It is by Innisfree and it is a cushion foundation. So this one here is called the Innisfree Skinny Cover Fit Cushion and I am in the shade Chestnut. So you have to buy, this is the cushion with the foundation in it and then this is the case and then you also have the puff as well. So they all kind of go together, but you have to buy everything separately. Everything is still very affordable though. So this is what the inside looks like. I'm just going to push into there and you get a good amount like that. And then I'm gonna apply this to my skin and just dab. And I love this puff because it does give me a very natural finish. It almost doesn't look like you have anything on. It is a bit harder to get around the nose area so I like to kind of push my cushion together just so I can get in those areas. That's kind of enough coverage for me. It's still really light and sheer so nothing too crazy. And then I'm going to go into concealer and I'm using the e.l.f. concealer. I We'll have to double check what the name is called, but I'll link it all down below for you guys. Um, but this one here is in the shade Light, and it's just super nice and like light coverage. It's not too heavy, but it's quite moisturizing as well under the eyes. And then also around my nose area where I get a lot of redness, just to try to cover that. Uh, and then I'm going to use a beauty blender, just a damp beauty blender, and we're just going to blend this out. And as you can see, it just really blends in with the skin. You can barely tell that you have concealer on. For highlighter, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a bit of the MAC Strobe Cream, and this is in Gold Light. Just a little. So I've got about that much on the back of my hand. Just going to tap into some of this. I've got some on my beauty blender. I'm just going to tap this around the high point, so around the cheek area. And this is just going to add a really subtle glow to the skin and really make your skin look super nice and dewy as well. I'm just adding that to the high point. And then to set the face, I'm not fully setting the whole face, just the areas that need it. And for this, I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder. And this is in the shade Medium. And I know you're probably wondering, oh my god, are your under eyes going to crease? So I just put a little bit of this under the eyes. Not a lot, just enough to kind of set it. And chin, my chin gets a little bit oily. 
So what I'm going to do next is just add a little bit of bronzer and I'm using another Charlotte Tilbury product. So this one here is the Film Style Bronze and Glow Face Sculpt and Highlight. And I'm just grabbing this darker shade here, which is like a really nice bronzy contouring shade. Um, in circular motions, kind of swoosh this all over the cheek area just to warm up the face a little. Don't want to put too much of this, just enough to get that glow. Uh, a little on the forehead just to warm it up. So I'm going to use the same product here, just with a smaller brush. I'm just going to contour my nose just a little. For blush, I'm going into the Tarte Blush Bazaar Amazon Clay Blush Palette. So I'm going to go into the shade Skillful here. I'm going to grab that one there. So I'm just keeping it subtle. I don't want to put too much blush. So I'm going to move on to the brows and for the brows I'm going to just lightly fill them in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the shade Medium. So I'm going to move on to curling the lashes. So I'm going to curl my lashes with the Shu Emura Eyelash Curler. And then for mascara I'm just going to use the Benefit Bad Girl Bang Mascara. So that is pretty much the face done. I'm just going to do the lips. Now for the lips, I like to go for either a lip balm or kind of like a lip tint. I'm actually going to use this one here. I know it looks really, really bright. So this one is by, I think it's pronounced Mina. And this one here is in the shade 521. It doesn't really have a name. I'm just going to add a little bit of this on my fingertip. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to dab this gently on my lips. And then I'm going to go back in with my lip balm. So the Lano Lips Lip Balm. So that's pretty much the look done, but I'm going to add some freckles. So for freckles, I'm just using an eyebrow pencil, the same one that I used on my eyebrows. And I'm just going to lightly kind of dab some freckles on. That's pretty much it in terms of the look. I'm just going to set everything. So for this, I'm using the Prep and Prime Fix Plus. And that is pretty much it for the video today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you very soon.